Howdy gang! Tiger is back! And thank you Vintage Uprising Texas for the introductions. I appreciate that. How's everyone doing? Well first of all I gotta really thank Patrick of the Trusty Hucks of Mercantile. Patrick thank you so much for inviting me to this shop hop. It's been a while and I appreciate the opportunity to come back out and um, do a little rehoming on YouTube again after such a long time. I do. Well, those, most of you know me, but the ones who don't know, I'm in Arizona. So if you're like all the way on the right hand side of the country, please take that into consideration with the shipping charges. I, uh, I ship through pirate ship. So mostly UPS, USPS. I prefer USPS and I, I shipped fairly fast after the show. This one I'm gonna keep up through the weekend probably because it's only Thursday and I want to give people who work weekdays a chance to look at the to look at the items. So I'll probably take it down Sunday Sunday evening. If you would like to have any of these items that I'm offering in your home just put down the number in the comments below and I go by first come first serve the way I see it on my end. I will need your information if I don't already have it, which is street address, name, uh, email for PayPal. You can email that to me at tigers.timeless.treasures at gmail.com. If you're in doubt, mail it out. I know I, I have some of you still on file from before, but some of them I don't know if I do. And that was really all the legal stuff. So let's have some fun. Let's rehome some cool stuff. Where do we start? Well, being German, I gotta start with the Bavarians. This is a absolutely lovely set. Creamer and sugar. Bavaria, Germany. And I do have my trusty little white sheet, even though it's not white on both sides, but Hopefully that'll help us with the focusing. There you go. There's the mark. It is a lovely piece. I love the shape. I love the way the handles are shaped. And here's the creamer. I don't know why up oh, there we go. And I know I I think I need to consider a new camera. This one is really, really old and it's been around, well, not around the world, halfway around the world quite a few times. So it's not really, the focus is really not that great. Well, but I forgot to tell you how much would I like in return. The rehoming fee for, this, for these pieces for the set is $15 and that is number 69. Yes, <laughs> 69 $15 for the set of creamer and sugar from Varia, Germany, Varia porcelain. Whoops, and yes, I have to put this down. Next, I have a plate that is, I think it could be homemade art. It is not signed, at least I don't see a signature unless it's sitting in there somewhere. It is stunning. I mean, if you look at the detail on this, it is just plain beautiful. It is a small plate. I'm thinking, what, five, six inches? And this plate can be yours for just eight dollars. Eight dollars, you could actually use it for your little snacks or you can hang it on the wall. I know Beth has the plate wall that is just absolutely great. I love that idea. So the, uh, you know, the Carolina Prince sweet, su princess sweet treats and whatever. <laughs> I always forget her full YouTube name. And this is number 41. Number 41, $8 for this totally cool plate. Oh yeah, there is no signature, no mark or nothing on the back. So I don't know where that comes from, but I do believe again, this is just a regular piece of china that someone someone decorated. And you can see a little bit where the paint is 
drips dripped so it is a very nice piece the next piece is since I'm in Arizona a local Arizona artist made this which reminds me of the black bear diner which has a couple of um, restaurants here in the area they have some real cool stuff and good food I, I like to go there for breakfast but they also have like hot sauces and stuff like that so this is a little bear and the edges are purposely made like this I did not munch on them and I did not uh, mess with them and I did not break them <laughs> for once and here is the let's see which is upside up I can't even tell it's round here's a signature there's a signature and it is made by the salsa style art studio in Phoenix Arizona this can also be yours for eight dollars special super deal I'm sure when someone bought it fresh from the studio they probably spent 15 20 bucks on it number 43 43 for the black bear plate bowl dish now I would not use this for food it has some texture I don't know if it shows on the camera yeah, you can see it right here there's some texture in it I don't know how they made it but it is absolutely stunning and this I believe is meant to be there it is not a smudge or anything I know I didn't smudge it so again I think it's about the six inches that's that was the second the third piece no I, I what am I what am I doing trying to count the pieces nah I'm not counting anything I do have a very nice line I don't know what what stone it's made of but it is stone I don't know if it's marble it just looks stunning now he must have been mounted at some point in his life because he's got little little holes in the in his feet and he also has a little bit of a smudge on his on, on his butt i don't know if you can see it there there's a little spot right there right there it looks like it's rubbed off a little like it had like it got a little bit of a i don't know i'm i'm thinking i mean he probably lived in a very humid humid climate and the mosquitoes probably got to him and so he turned around and tried to bite the mosquitoes away and hit his own back by accident with his with his teeth right there see he's got some big teeth there but I I absolutely love him this is why I'm rehoming him because he is not appreciated in my home with all the kitties and everything there's just so much going on look at them and um, again I did not bring my measurement thingy I don't know why what is he about six or six inches maybe and he is number 52 and he can be yours for $15 number 52 for $15 wonderful lion and yes he is fairly heavy since he is um, marble or some sort of stone so keep that in mind shipping charges and someone was trying to call me that was yeah never mind <laughs> what else do we have oh yeah why am I asking you that you wouldn't know right I'm the one who's supposed to know what else I have so I should, probably shouldn't be asking you that I have this absolutely cute kitty plate it is a um, what's it called Arthur Dent from the 1990s it actually has a copyright stamp, stamp from 1993 it's got a heart shaped little play um, it's got the roses around and the keys in there and here is whoops what did I do I'm trying to find these these marks here's the or the dent mark there and the time stamp is right over there and again it is I don't know I want to say eight inches maybe it is a beautiful piece this can be yours for twelve dollars number 48 twelve dollars for the beautiful kitty plate 
number 48. Now, I don't know if it's actually pewter or what material it's made out of, but it is just, it is just, it is just nice. It's a nice decoration. You can use it for your little, some goodies or, you know, just, you can hang it on your, on your plate wall along with the other one. That was that. And I'm gonna put this, no, excuse me, while I'm hiding the plate there before, so it's all in my hair. What else do we have? Why do I keep saying that? I keep saying the same thing over and over again. And I forgot to set my alarm clock, so hopefully I'm not gonna go over time. But I do have a timer on my camera as well, so it's just not quite, quite as easy for me to see. The next wonderful item is this, and I believe this is a Mikasa. And I did have a number for it, which of course now I can't find because I probably misplaced it. Oh, there's a number. I'll take that. This is a little sugar bowl, sugar dish. And I am absolutely in love with this thing too. I'm in love with all these things, which is why I'm getting rid of them, right? <laughs> so there is a lid. You could use it for other stuff too. It doesn't have to be sugar, but for candy, it's way too small for me. I need a big candy dish. <laughs> but it's a cute little thing. And I just... I had it in my house for a while now, so it's time for it to find a new home where it's more appreciated. Again. And this piece, I'll let me go for $15. Number 39. $15 for the Mikasa sugar dish. Look at the shape of the handle. I absolutely like them. Yep, let's find the... There we go. Look at that. Yeah. So, if you would, if you would like this piece, put down number 39 right now before someone else beats you to it. First come, first serve. I have some, well, I have a couple of kitties that I i was going to show you. I'm, I shouldn't, I don't know if I should do like a, a, a certain order or. Now this gal is a Heather Hikes Catnip Lily. I think she's got a little, little suitcase here and she's got a, a little catnip tag. Whoops. And there is a barcode on the back, so it is a little bit newer. But she's just cute. You can sit her on your windowsill. Her legs are a little bent, so she can sit sit there on the windowsill. Whoops, why am I hiding her head? There's her head. That one, I don't know, it's kind of loopy, droopy. But that's the way it is. I don't know if it was meant to be that way or if it's just happened with age. Because she is, she is not, she is not that old, but still, she's a cutie. Um, I'll, I'll let her go for $15 and she's number 61. 61, $15 for the Heather Hikes Catnip Lily. Then we have, you know, I have some art pieces. Would you all like to see some art? I know it's kind of iffy with the art. It's very uni uh, individual and I have not been very successful at rehoming art, but you never know. Maybe the time has come now because I really, really like this piece. Now, I, where's my little sheet sheet that had the prices on here? Oh, there it is, backside. Here is a an original Ulrich, which was also my uncle's name, Ulrich. Now, this is, it comes with a frame, of course, because it is a painting. I'm sure it's, um, I don't know if it's oil, but it kind of feels like it. It's it's painted on, a, on wood, and it's got the frame with it. There's a signature. And on the back, you have the their business well i can't read i can get all the way up there because i got stuff sitting in the way but there's a business card on the visit of, of ulrich they're from texas 
the Ulrich Gallery, Gallery from Texas. Now I do believe this is an 8x10. It does not have a, obviously does not have glass, it is upside down. It's a hanging, it's a hanging um, bouquet of flowers or something. <laughs> I am asking $15 for this guy, the original Ulrich Art. $15, number 42. There it is, my favorite number, 42. 15 bucks. That is a very nice piece and I don't have to worry about glass breaking when I'm shipping it. <laughs> As opposed to the other one, which does have glass, which I could take it out of the frame, but the frame I'm sure is original and, and should come with it. This is, what was her name again? She had a name that I always have a hard time, hard time reading. Isn't she cute though? Can you see it with the, despite the reflections? She is, where is her? Where is she? Um, oh, it's the Sleeping Angel, Maud Townsie Fangle. No, there's a signature right there of the artist. And here's the back. You can tell it's an older frame. It's with the nails. Again, if you would like to have the piece without the frame, I don't have a problem taking it out. Now, I don't know if it's an original or a print, because I haven't messed with it. If you would like me to, I can look at, look at it before I ship it. But, she's just so darling. Look at that little gal. That little, little girl. And she can come be yours also for $15. Number 40. $15 for the Sleeping Angel. That's a great deal. She's so cute. <laughs> and she does not seem to have any issues as far as I can see. But again, I did not open the frame. Now, these are a set of two. I am offering a discounted price if you would like both. Otherwise, you can only, you can get them one at a time. It depends if anyone if anyone claims one and the second one second person claims both then the second person um i will let you know b before i send you an invoice if you still want just one i don't know that's probably a stupid idea but i figured you know these two are just they are these are world war ii books about private pepper private pepper the dog now this one is the first one and these were written and printed w in, in the 1940s, I believe 1944, one of them. This is Private Pepper in the war. And the illustrations are beautiful. No, they are, they have seen some wear and tear. They used to be library books, so they still have the library markings on them. But you can see the artwork in there, just for the artwork, and the artwork is in pretty good shape. They're just stunning. I love them. I just love them. There's that first one, and the second one is Private Pepper Comes Home. War is over. Private Pepper is done, and he survived, and he seems happy. Again, here's the ins inside cover. Here's the family and Private Pepper. That's the second part. So I'm asking fifteen dollars. No, what I, I was asking twenty dollars each, or thirty-five bucks for both. Twenty dollars each, or thirty-five bucks for both. These are numbers sixty-four and sixty-five. Sixty-four and sixty-five. The first one is Private Pepper in the war that's number 64 and the second part is number 65 and yes i can ship those media mail if you would like me to but you gotta keep in mind media mail is the, about the worst shipping um in the in the tree of the shipping is on the bottom it's takes the longest it gets treated the worst so 
Um, I personally don't like to ship these older books by media mail, but that's your choice. You just let me know. Again, tigers.timeless.treasures at gmail.com. I will try and remember to put all that in the description below. But I know me. I may forget. Plus, who reads these descriptions? Do you ever read these descriptions under the videos? I never do. <laughs> so, I have a Korok Roadrunner plate. That is a totally cool piece. And yes, I'm from Arizona, so I'm throwing in a Roadrunner. And I think I picked that up at a sale myself quite a while ago. There's the back. Korok stickers on there. And I'm letting this go for $15. It is a little bit smaller, but it's probably about, what, 7 inches diameter? Something like that. I'm letting this go for, what did I just say, $12 or $15? $15, I think I said. Whatever I said first. <laughs> nah, 12 bucks. 12 bucks is good. Number 51. Quark plate, 12 bucks. Just put number 51 in the in the comments below. And if you want to be on the safe side, put down 51, 12 bucks. Actually, it would help me because then I don't have to go through and find all my lists and everything all the time. If you just put the number and the price, but you don't have to. Leave that up to you. <laughs> ah, this is fun, but I have no clue what I'm doing. It's been so long. <laughs> But yeah, I'm running off time. I have so much more stuff to show you. Let me hurry it up. I have a fairy lamp. I have a fairy lamp. And this is the Viking. The Viking, and I don't know what the color is called. It's a dark red, and it's an excellent shape. I just love this color. I picked it up a while ago at one of the antique malls. I was going to display it and then I put it away and forgot about it and then I couldn't find it when I was looking for it because I had put it away so nicely so I wouldn't lose it. I finally found it and put it on my shelf for a little while. But I figured it's time for it to move on even though it's not purple. I love this color. And this fairy lamp can be yours for just 35 bucks. $35 number 56 fairy lamp. Viking. Isn't that beautiful though? I should probably have like a like a light to put in to show you, but with all this outside light, you probably wouldn't be able to see it anyways. Now here's another one of the more, a little nicer pieces. Now I do not know if this is a Murano or not. This is a very dark amethyst ashtray, you could call it. I like to refrain from using the word ashtray because it has such a stigma now, people just don't like to smoke anymore and they don't like ashtrays. I mean, I would use it as a dip, a salsa dish, dip dish, even though it has the indents for cigarettes. But if you're a smoker, more power to you, then you can really use it as an ashtray. This is a beautiful piece and that, was, uh, that was, came from my own collection. I know I paid a lot of money for that at some point. But I'm letting this go for just 20 bucks. 20 bucks, number 45, and I had this done so that I can hold it up while you can read it and then read then I'm grabbing it on the wrong side. Go, go figure. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time I've done this. <laughs> so 20 bucks, number 45 for this stunning amethyst ashtray. And here's the ponto, you can see that again. It is a little indented, but it is a beautiful piece. My next beautiful piece is this pony, the uh, trail of the ponies, whatever it was called, that they were, they were popular back in the 90s, I think, or to early 2000s. They're actually trail of the painted ponies, here it is, and it is um, numbered. And it is from 2007. So it's not quite uh, vintage yet, but it's just beautiful. I mean, look at that beauty. I figured I'd throw that in because it's so nice and I know I have some horse lovers out there. You may like it. 
This one can be used for 20 bucks, number 59. 20 bucks, number 59. For the stunning piece, the stunning painted pony. Here's the back side. I mean, the other front side. And look at that. It's very southwestern looking. Very fitting coming from Arizona. Very fitting coming from Arizona. What else did I want to show you? Ooh, my back. I have another piece from my own personal collection. Little Poipo Bud Vase. This is more like another amethyst type piece. And I love the shape of it. It is not your average shape that you usually see. It is a little bit thin and a little bit... It's not too heavy. It's a so I'm going to have to pack it really tight to make sure it doesn't get damaged. I believe it's about 7 inches maybe tall. I'll let this go for $15, number 44. $15, number 44. There we go. Take a look at it again. And here's the bottom. It is just a beautiful piece. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, but you know, I have so much purple. This cabinet behind me is full of purple too. I need to make some room in my house for more. Let me see, let me grab this. This is actually a piece I was going to save for my own, for my own use. Again, another salsa dish. It's made in Mexico, and it is a cat. Here's a signature. There's a signature. See a lot of cats. <laughs> I mean, look at the design. It's just beautiful. A little, a little rooster with an open back for you to put salsa in there. Or maybe you have some rice for a small lunch. You know, some fried rice. You can eat your fried rice out of it. And it is, again, not very big. So I'm keeping it to fairly small and easy to pack pieces. And where's the number? It is number 49, and I'll let this go for $9. Number 49, I'll let this go for $9. For the Rooster Salsa dish. We're almost done. I know I forgot something. Well, I have this little kitty. I have no clue where she's from, but she's still cute. You can just sit her on your shelf and she'll just... She just looks so nice. So, she is on a... I think it's kind of a... No, it's not styrofoam, but it's a very light and sturdy piece. Um, the only thing is that the feathers are kind of coming off, so they like to fly off as you touch her. But maybe you have, you know, maybe you're one of these people who love to make, dress up these, these things. Maybe you can make a new dress for her or something, a new outfit. There we go. Look at that. That face. Or you could make a new doll out of her, like Amy does. Which is probably what I'll do if nobody else wants to give her a new home. I'll let her go for $8. Number 46. $8 since she not, doesn't have any kind of uh, markings on her and the feathers are a little loose. Number 46. And that was it. Thank you all. And thank you again, Patrick, for having me. And now we're all, let's move all over to the lovely Miss Dolores from, from the UK, coming right into your homes. Miss Damn Jewelry. Miss Damn Jewelry. Take it from here. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, and she has wonderful stuff. You should check her out. You really should. And she's a lovely lady, too. You know the deal. You all keep it real. Bada bing and bada boom.